If I had to lose 15 pounds on a plant-based diet starting tomorrow, here's exactly what I'd do in this video. And yes, I'm totally biased because the moment I decided to start this diet eight years ago, my life, my health results completely changed. If I'd ignored the eight steps that I'm about to lay out for you in this video, I would have never lost 40 pounds, got in my best shape ever, cleared my bad acne, etc, etc. So, pay close attention, let's do this. Step number one, I'd eat 90% whole foods. Like the array of things you're seeing in front of me, lots of whole foods here, and that will make up the vast majority of my diet. Okay, instead of all the vegan junk food products and the substitutes, the mock meats, the cheeses, vegan chocolate candies, etc., that have way more calories and way less fiber. Most of my diet is gonna be made up of this stuff here. We're gonna run through a sample meal plan shortly, but to give you an idea of what my diet actually looks like in this sort of 90% whole foods North Star that I aim for, let's run through the six main plant food groups very quickly here. First up, we've got our whole grain, so we've got quinoa, rice, oats, things like that. We've got the very misunderstood tubers up next, so white potato, sweet potato, yams, incredible for weight loss, despite common argument. Uh, we've got nuts and seeds, so sesame seeds, walnuts, and peanut butter, would you believe, as long as it doesn't have all the nuts and loads of oils thrown in and whatnot can be a really good healthy fat source, just really calorific, so you can't be that liberal with it. Tahini as well. Next up, we've got vegetables. No health video is complete without the obligatory bag of kale, right? Uh, zucchini, uh, you know, cauliflower, loving that at the moment. Avocado, good healthy fat source as a vegetable. Up next, we've got our fruits. Um, Berries, oh, they deserve a special shout out for an incredible nutrient profile, the antioxidants, the vitamins, the minerals, and so on. Uh, but citrus fruits, apple, melon here I've got. And finally, the sixth group is of course our legumes. How could we forget? So chickpeas, lentils, things like tofu, but beans, peas, lentils, and generally. Uh, some people count this sort of extra seventh group as being things like herbs and spices. So herbs and spices, they're gonna be really important to make the healthy food taste good because if your palate is not is is mostly used to you know, the extreme uh, potent taste of highly processed junk food, right? Eating whole food is gonna seem really boring to you at first. So things like um, herbs and spices are really important. And then of course our condiments, like unsweetened plant milk here, Dijon mustard, um, uh, balsamic vinegar that I use here in my salad dressings and vinaigrettes, bit of maple uh, syrup, excuse me, yes, it's got sugar, yes, it's processed, but we just use a little bit to make the healthy food taste good, nutritional yeast, uh, low sodium soy sauce or tamari. Etc. Etc. So this is, you know, 90% of my diet is gonna be these kinds of foods. Okay, now on to step number two. I'd have one to two servings of beans, lentils, or tofu daily. Fantastic source of plant protein, as I'm sure you already know, but also for helping you stay full. Why? Namely because they're high fiber content. Fiber is incredible for helping you stay full up for longer. Bunch of other side benefits that fiber brings for weight loss as well. Number one, it feeds friendly gut bacteria. Number two, it helps fight inflammation, which is increasingly being linked to obesity. So I'm having one to two servings of these daily. How would that translate to my diet? I'll be using the chickpeas in my oil-free hummus recipe. I'll be throwing tofu into my Buddha bowls and my stir fries in the evening. I'll be using beans for Buddha bowls again, lentils, lentil dal, lentil marinara. Step number three, I would not fear carbohydrates. I know the mainstream health and weight loss world always crying about carbohydrates. The keto bros, they're gonna come after me on this one, but I'm ardent on this because I'm not talking about soda and candy and sources of carbohydrate that are heavily processed and there's refined sugars thrown in. I'm talking for the most part about healthy whole foods or at least foods that are semi-processed but maintain a, a high fiber content and low caloric density. So I already spoke about brown rice, quinoa, oats, I showed you those earlier on, but also things like bran flakes I'm a big fan of and I would eat daily. Things like our breads, like rye bread and whole wheat, right? These are quality carbohydrate sources that will make up a decent part of my diet. Step number four, I'd have two small sources of healthy fat daily. Why small sources? Because fat is so calorific that you can't just lather it on your meals without adding loads of calories to them. I think it's much easier to maintain a calorie deficit with a relatively low fat diet. That's what I've always argued. But fat is still really, really important in your diet and provides essential nutrients that you can't really get elsewhere if you're not having more fat rich foods. And so I think they still need to be included, but let's say managed. What do I mean again by small serving? How does that actually translate? To give you a visual representation, maybe 10% of your meal's volume being based on one of these things like tahini, peanut butter, I showed you this stuff earlier on, avocado, nuts, seeds, and so on. And just very quickly, before I forget, do you notice what's missing here? A food item that's often included on these lists of healthy fat sources. That's right, it's oil. I don't like oil because it has a terrible calorie to nutrient profile. And occasionally when I go out to eat, there's definitely oil on my food and I don't sweat that, but I don't use oil at home because of that terrible calorie to nutrient profile. 
about 125 calories in a tablespoon of most cooking oils, which is just terrible bang for your buck in terms of calorie density. But for all those calories, unlike these foods where you get loads of nutrients, fiber and minerals and vitamins, well, with oil, it's been processed again and again at such a high heat that it's hardly got any nutrients in. So a lot of calories doesn't provide that many nutrients. There's very little upside for me. Step number five, with all of the nutrition tips that I've shared so far in mind, here's what my basic meal plan would look like. Breakfast is either gonna be oatmeal with fruit, a seed of my choosing and plant milk, or one of my healthy cereal bowls with bran flakes, muesli. Again, some fruit, a seed of my choice, and plant milk. Lunch is either gonna be my hummus and veggie sandwiches. Very simple, very quick option. Or maybe something like a very basic rice and beans combination, maybe with some veggies, bit of hot sauce healthy fat sauce, preferably there too. And then dinner, mostly nine times out of 10, it's gonna be something like my tofu stir fry because it's quick and easy to throw together, to throw together, excuse me, with either brown rice or buckwheat or rice noodles. Step number six, any snacks would be low calorie fruits. And I like fruit generally, and I think fruit is a fantastic snack, but we're talking about a focused, intentional period of time where I'm trying to lose 15 pounds and I'm working really hard on it. So these low calorie, high water content snacks, like citrus, <laughs> wrong way around, citrus fruits, uh, things like melon, watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, etc., etc. Things like berries, so raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, they have such a low caloric density. So you can eat them very generously and actually still not consume that many calories. Step number seven, we've only talked about nutrition so far, and I think it'd be a huge mistake to have a conversation about weight loss and never once mention the role of exercise. Yes, nutrition is the biggest difference maker on the scale, but exercise can play a really important supporting role. Now, my current exercise routine is far more extensive than what I'm about to share, but we're doing this, the point of this video is, is if I was starting from scratch again, right? If I was trying to lose 15 pounds, all I would do to start is 30 minutes of walking, gentle walking daily, and then two to three times a week, I'd be doing resistance training sessions, just basic stuff with resistance bands, wouldn't even need a gym membership, just some body weight movements, squats, lunges, push-ups, things like that at home. And lastly, step number eight, I'd actually let myself eat out once per week. And you might not believe what you're hearing on this one, but it's only once a week. That's a drop in the bucket of your overall weekly diet. Think about it like this, right? If you're eating 21 meals a week, assuming three meals a day, if you're having 20 good meals, as per the rules that I've shared through this video, and then one meal out that's less than textbook perfect, that's nothing to sweat. That's nothing to lose sleep over. That one meal isn't gonna make or break your success at a one to 21 ratio, if that makes sense. But the rules for me would be very clear. There'd be no booze and there'd be no desserts. So I just get that one meal out per week. And that will give me some sense that I can actually maintain a really effective weight loss structure that brings results on the scale every week, but also at times a bit of fun and a bit of rule bending and a sense that, no, I can actually make this a practical lifestyle for me over the long term while whilst I'm losing weight. And if everything that I've shared with you today didn't work, if the scale wasn't going down week on week, then I'd track my calories to see where I was maybe going wrong and make the necessary reductions. Before that, I wouldn't even bother tracking my calories until I had a reason to. So that's it. Those are my eight steps to lose 15 pounds on a plant-based diet. I hope this helped you out. And if you want my free weight loss checklist to make sure you're taking all the right actions to get to your ideal healthy body weight, eating a plant-based diet, the link for that will be down below. See you soon.